So let's look at the following example that will deal with electric fields. So let's suppose the net electric field midway between two opposite but equal charges is given to be 1172 newtons per coulomb. So if the distance between these two charges is 4 centimeters, calculate the magnitude of charge on each point charge. So let's begin by looking at the following diagram of our two point charges. So point charge number one and point charge number two. We know the distance between these two point charges is given to be 4 centimeters and we also know that the net electric field midway between our two point charges is given to be this quantity, 1172 newtons per coulomb. Now, because this point is midway, our two point charges, that means the distance between this point and any one of these point charges is exactly the same. It's given to be half of this quantity or simply two centimeters. So, let's begin by drawing the free body diagram for the electric fields acting midway our two point charges. So we have two point charges, that means we're going to have two electric fields. Now, which one of these is positive and which one of these is negative? Well, we are told that the quantity of charge of these two point charges is exactly the same, but they have opposite signs. So let's suppose this is our positive point charge and this is our negative point charge. So let's suppose that E1 is the electric field as a result of this point charge acting at this point. Now in which direction will that electric field vector point? Well recall that because this is a positive electric charge, any field line that it will create will point directly outward. So that means the electric field vector will point in the positive direction along the x-axis. Now for the negative uh, point charge, the case is the opposite. Now all the field lines for this are going directly into this point charge. And so if we begin at this point, we see that our electric field vector will point directly towards it. So once again, it will also point in the positive direction along the x-axis. So we see that E1 and E2 point at the same exact direction. So we know that the net electric field at this point is this quantity. Now the net electric field is simply the sum of all the electric fields acting at that point. So because these two are positive, we're going to have this, the following result. So the net electric field is equal to E1 plus E2, which is equal to this quantity. Now E1 can be represented in a following form. E1 is equal to K, our constant, multiplied by the charge of point charge 1 given by Q1 divided by D1 squared, where D1 is simply the distance from this point charge to this point. Now, E2 becomes the following result. We have K, our constant, multiplied by the charge of point charge 2, divided by the distance D2, beginning at this point and ending at this point. And this is equal to the following value. Now, notice we are told in the problem stem that these charges have the same exact magnitude. So that means we can replace Q1 and Q2 with simply Q because the Q values are the same. Now, notice this point is midway and that means D1 is equal to D2. So let's replace that with simply D. So now we have KQ divided by D2 or D squared plus plus kq divided by d squared. The same exact terms, so we can simply add them. And we get the following result. 2 multiplied by k multiplied by q divided by d squared is equal to 1172 newtons per coulomb. Finally, we want to solve for our Q. We are asked to calculate the magnitude of charge on each point charge. So we're looking for the value of Q. So we bring the D squared to this side and we divide 
by 2 multiplied by k and we get the following equation. So this multiplied by d squared divided by 2k. So d is simply 0 0.02 meters. So 2 centimeters have to be converted to meters by dividing by 100. That's exactly what we get. Now the k value is simply 8.99 times 10 to the 9 newtons multiplied by meter squared divided by coulomb squared. Notice our meter squared will cancel, our newtons will cancel, one of the coulombs will cancel and we'll, we're going to be left with the following result. 2.61 times 10 to the negative 11 coulombs is the charge of this point charge as well as the charge of this point charge. But this one has a positive sign and this one has a negative sign.